over in New Zealand, but we still have the fun of the lockdown cup. Hi, I'm Matthew Harding, and today we will find out if it will be an Indy car or a Premier E car that reigns supreme. You may notice that I'm commentating outside today, so I'll, I have to keep my voice down. The neighbours don't mind the roaring engines, but apparently my voice is annoying. Just a sec. Here we go. First up, we have Sasquatch. This is James Sterling. Sasquatch led his group with nine points. James Sterling got six. Sasquatch is on the inside. The IndyCars did better in their groups. They came, both of them came first, and the two Formula E cars came second. And it is Sasquatch. Whoa, where's he gone? What happened to him? Oh, James Sterling has slid out. He will get, will he get it? Oh, yes, he just got that extra checkpoint. So Sasquatch will get six points, James Sterling five. Oh, there he is. There's Sasquatch. He's got up on the wall next to that giant piece of string. He's putting string on the track. That seems a bit dodgy. Did James Sterling put that there to mess up Sasquatch? James Sterling has the lead. He's a bit all over the place, but he's coming out. Oh, here comes Sasquatch. Sasquatch is hunting him down. And, oh, Sasquatch slid out, coming out of the last corner, and couldn't quite finish. I don't, I don't think he was going to catch James Sterling there. It was very close, though. So, oh, now we've got a replay here of that finish. Now, James Sterling had a decent lead, but he was banging into the walls a little bit too much. Here comes Sasquatch. He gets high up on the wall, but it doesn't matter because he controls it. Now, James Sterling still has a big enough lead. I don't think Sasquatch would have caught him, but look at James Sterling spun around, going in reverse. I don't think Sasquatch knew what to do there. If he just kept going straight, he probably would have finished, I'd say. Probably would have won the race. What's that on the track down there, by the way? But it's like a big giant here. Isn't a giant here? Maybe it's the Sasquatch's here. He's pretty big. Now, third and final race. James Sterling on the inside. He's pushed Sasquatch up the track. Now he's got a his lead is growing. Now here comes Sasquatch. Sasquatch hits at the back of him and he's flipped over and James Sterling will cruise to the finish. Oh, Sasquatch. You needed to go around him. James Sterling a good put on a good block there at the end. And yeah, there is Sasquatch on his roof. It is 13, what, 31 points to 15. Sasquatch is out. So that is a bit of a surprise. He would have been the favourite in the semi. James Sterling had a slight lead there. He pushed Sasquatch up the track, but Sasquatch just tucked in behind. It's a good driving there. James Sterling a little bit out of control coming into two. And he started to stretch his lead, but here's where he messed it up. He got... He, he turned around in the corner, and here comes Sasquatch, hunting him down, but Sasquatch couldn't get around him. He, he probably picked the wrong place to catch up to him, because there was, the, um, there was no room to get around him at that point. He needed to just ease off slightly. And unfortunately, he got sent up into the wall after hitting James Sterling. So we move on to Sharky versus Angron Ragefist. Sharky also getting nine points. And Angron Ragefist, well, he only got one win. It was a weird group where three drivers got one win. Angron only just got through in the end after he threw Kid Fairburn off the track. And he's, but he's got the lead. Oh, no, has he? Yes, he has. No, he hasn't. Oh, it's very close between these two. Well, they're joined together at the hip, aren't they? If cars can have a hip. So Sharky has a 5-4 lead. We're going to see a replay of this. They're just, like, glued together. Someone put glue on one of the cars or something. Look at that, Sharky gets up into him there, and from that point on, they were just touching basically the whole way down. A little bit of separation there, and look at that, Angron comes back into Sharky, and they go around the Ryu turn together, which slides out Sharky, and Angron Ragefist had nowhere to go. So Sharky has a one-point lead going into race two, lap two, I should say. Ragefist on the inside. Oh, he's got a big lead already. Wow, he was lightning out of that gate. Whoa, he's on his roof now. Too much speed. Calm down, Angron. He has a one-point lead now. He's turned it around by one point. Well, Sharky's on his roof too. So Sharky went past that second checkpoint. So he will get two points. Now, third and final race. Ragefist has one point. A one-point lead. And he's in the lead this time. He's out of one... 
in the lead. He's stretching his lead out. In fact, is he going to finish? Yeah, he's going to finish. He's done it. Wow. Both Formula E cars are through to the final. Who saw that coming? Not me. Sharky has parked up at the exit of the re turn. He thought, well, I couldn't catch him. So there's no point going on. So, we, well, the playoff is between the two Indy cars, Sasquatch versus Sharky. I, th I would have thought these two would be in the final. Sharky on the inside, Sasquatch on the outside. Who's going to take this? I have no idea, to be honest. I'm going to say Sasquatch, I think. Maybe? Well, he's got the lead here. And, well, the lead isn't coming down. Oh, he's on the roof! Sharky's gone past! And Sharky's going to finish the race. So Sharky takes lap one. 9-8. So the, the points are very close because Sasquatch led through most of that lap. He led through four checkpoints to get eight. And we have a replay here. And Sasquatch just, well, he's got slightly better speed out of the gate. Now, oh, look at Sharky up on two wheels there. I'm surprised he kept going. That was good car control by Sharky to get back in this race. I thought it was, wow, I, I, I didn't see it, but... After watching that replay, I'm surprised that he's back. he actually managed to finish the race, finish the lap. And yeah, look, Sasquatch got too high. And he did that in the semi-final, didn't he? In race three. He got too high up on that wall. Was it race two? No, it was race three, I think. Anyway, Sharky, in the end, finishing on his own. Sasquatch is having trouble with turn four. Can he control turn four this time? He's on the inside. And again, he gets a better start than Sharky. And, oh, he's lost control. Oh, and he's blocked Sharky. Oh, and Sharky's gone up. Oh, that was lucky, isn't it? That could have been a nasty accident. Sharky's car very near the head of Bigfoot, although Bigfoot's head is pretty big. Why is Sharky riding? Why was Sharky riding the Bigfoot? Okay, now I'm thinking about a shark riding Bigfoot. That's weird. That's very weird. Come on, Brain. Focus. Back into the race. Sharky on the other. No, Sasquatch has got it. Sharky had trouble on turn one there. And Sasquatch is all on his own. Sasquatch is going to do it, is he? Yes! Oh, no, Sharky. What happened in turn one? He really... I don't know what happened there, but he had, well, he's made it down to the Ryu turn, but it all fell apart in turn one. Oh, Sasquatch takes third place. Anger and Rage Fist versus James Sterling. Here's the final. Both these drivers are from Gravity Track... Gra track? Gra 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 Gravity Track Grand Prix. So this is... Go they're going to be watching this. I, they're going to love this. Anger and Rage Fist in the lead. Where's James Sterling? Oh, James Sterling slides, slides out, but Angron is going all the way. Yes, he will. Angron takes lap one. Oh, here comes James Sterling. James Sterling will come in a little way behind, and he is now six points behind. We should really move that block at the end of that track, by the way. Angron Rage Fist under investigation. What's happened here? He's on the inside. They're in the wrong places again. Oh no, not in the final. Oh, James Sterling retakes the lead. It's all falling apart for Angron and Rage Fist. James Sterling, is he going to take lap two? He is. Angron Rage Fist finishes. Oh, Rage Fist gets a five point penalty. So he will only get three points for that. And James Sterling gets five points extra. So he gets 17. How did, why did James Sterling let him have the inside lane? Did he know that he was going to get a penalty? And he thought, that's okay, I'll take him. I, I can beat him. Maybe that was smart from James Sterling. He saw Angron Rage Fist was trying to cheat, so he let him cheat. Smart. That's real smart. And in the end, he did beat him. James Sterling. What a sneaky guy. Angron Rage Fist, well, that backfired on you trying to cheat, didn't it? Oh, see that wall move when he hit it. Right, the final race. James Sterling has an eight-point lead now. He just basically needs to get down to the end, surely. And he's in the lead and through turn one. Oh, he's spun out. He's been passed by Edward Rachefuss. He's on his roof. I think he's on his roof. He stopped anyway. Edward Rachefuss is going to finish. Who's going to win it? Rachefuss. Edward Rachefuss has done it by one point. 
the penalty didn't matter in the end. James Sterling on his roof, he just needed to pass one more checkpoint, he needed to get out of the Ryu turn. He's on the inside, he's pushed Ingram Rageforth up the track, both of them get air, but oh, Ingram Rageforth lands it, James Sterling doesn't, not properly anyway, and ends up flipping over before the Ryu turn. Angron Rage Fist. He may have cheated, but he's won the final. He is your winner of the Lockdown Cup. In controversial circumstances. Do you guys agree with that? Do you guys agree that he should have won? I mean, he did get a penalty. There is our podium. Angron Rage Fist. James Sterling and Sasquatch. Fourth place, Sharky. Thank you all the drivers, um, Insane G, Moose, Kid Fairburn, and who have I missed? Who have I missed? Um, oh, Pippa. So let's look at the world rankings. Well, no changes to the top three. Angron Ragefist moves into fourth. And Sasquatch moves into fifth. Imagine if Angron Ragefist got, didn't get the penalty. He would have been way up there. So they are in the top ten. Moving everyone else down. James Sterling has gone up 25 places. And Sharky's gone down 13. James Sterling, the big winner in the rankings. He may not have won the final, but he's a big winner in the rankings. Wow. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Our next video will be the Celebrity Cup round of 16. So stay tuned for that. It's already being edited. Edit, 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 edit. Until then... Take care and I'll see you then.